everybody, it's Gaming is Film here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to animate in this film. By that, I mean how to make a video in this film. For example, you want to load your model at the beginning, at first, I mean. And so you have this timeline right here. You could push it up, or unless if it's already up. Oh god, that was a glitch. I keep it small, so I still see the screen, so I put it in mount to here. Let me fix there we go. So, I, for example, let me just start. You want to go to this this one right here in the bottom right here. There's different ones in the timeline. So this is the first one that you start on with, and then th there's this one that you can animate in. Is it, this is what I use for like making pictures instead of this one because this one's more harder to use. But this is the one that you want to use for videos. So let's start. For example, uh, first you want to get the first clip from here in the bottom. So since this thing, this thing uh, pops out on the bottom, you want to because you're moving it first. For example, I do this, but I want her to be looking at us. For example, close her mouth. That's not where I want it. There we go. I'm going to put down our arms. And I want her to be waving. Okay. Does it really matter about this? Sometimes, not all the time. I'm going to need her hands. So I need to make this pop out. So I can get the thing. You press. Press curl to get the models move. You just tap it, tap it, so it makes this thing for start. So, why you need to have the first clips is so it can stay where the position is right now, and then you move it on later on where you want it. Example, like, like this. It's gonna start off like this, then it's gonna move later on. For example, since I, have to, I use shift to sometimes do this. I just want to find out what this is. Okay, this will so. I put the eyes this way because I just want to. Okay, I wanna also have her spine be able to move. So, so you move the camera wherever you want. For example, I want it this way. It's not gonna be much, and I actually might export it. I don't know. It depends how good it comes out. For example, I like it how it is already. So I want to export this. I'll be right back. I want to. I want to export this as a picture. Okay, there we go. I'm sorry. It's because I really like how it came out. Okay. Okay. It's still exporting. <laughs> it's still exporting the picture. And why it has like four blocks is because I, I put it as a 280 file, but I mean the size. So we're going to start here, and then you want to go here to the timeline, and then you want to move this thing. So you see, it's uh, like a, a watermark, or not a watermark, a bookmark. The first thing, and then you want to move it where you want. For example, I'm going to move it to two. So you go here, and then, for example, I want her eyes to move. Then I want to go in again. This is the first watermark, uh, bookmark that you move the eyes. You just go to where you want the, um, the bookmark. You move what you want to move. Then you move it again. For example, I'm going to go here. For example, I want to make your eyes happy. Since I want a little bit motion, since I want motion, I want to move her head a little. Go. 
my emotion just a little. And I'm gonna add a little spine motion while it has that. So you just do what you want. So for example, I will also be teaching more stuff if you want. For example, I want it to go back so she stick right there. Can I just move the head a little? Oh, it's moving. I'm not a good animator with animation. It doesn't get that much motion. Now I'm gonna move the head up a bit. There we go. I'm gonna have low motion when it does this. easy when you get used to animating it, but it gets harder when you get more fans and get better at it. Better at it, you'll just be good at it already. I don't know, I'm just going to put it like... I don't know, like, I do more motion to the hand. A hand, hands, I guess. There we go. If I, so, this is what I did. It's bad. This is just for beginners of how they want to animate. If you export it, it's pretty simple. I don't know what happened to that right there. Export it, it's pretty simple, but you need quick time player to export it. So you go to file, you go to export, put movie, save, and then you have this. You save it to your folders. And since you start only with AVI, you have to get for example, movie time player. Uh, it should have a little link here. Uh, since you have AVI player and it have an MP4, if you if it doesn't come out with this thing, uh, try looking up on YouTube because there's a way to uh, there, I check the video on how to export videos just in case if you don't know. Uh, if you want sound image, mostly you want a movie because and then you can have crop it. Since you stop here, since you get to timeline, you go at the end, and you want to move this, you just hold it down. Since it stops there, I want to put it there. It's still, you still see some toy cheek. So, for example, you move that, and now it's shorter. And for example, if I wanted to put another character in, Press B and I'll make another clip and it still has the same character. It still have it still has the same character. For example, if I wanted to move the camera now I could if I wanted to move, move it a little bit more. This way. It changed the camera. You see that change right here? 
I'll show you. Let me just zoom in. And you can also add audio, so it, since there's no audio to this video, it doesn't matter. I will teach you how to do audio if you guys want it. Anyways, let's continue. See the camera changed. There we go. It stopped. Anyways, bye guys. Hope this helped.